so what is going on youtube my name is mehul and welcome to your fourth tutorial for this mini web series which is creating an application with angular 4 and php and in this tutorial we're going to start off with the backend coding but before doing that i want you to introduce to the service upload care which i would be using in this application as a means to actually upload and get the images back as we discussed in the very first tutorial so this service is kind of easy to use and uh, kind of gets you away from the tension of uh, hosting the files and managing all the storage and all that api and all that stuff which is kind of boring for me as a developer to manage because we would just like to code the actual thing instead of managing the file structure so it does that all for you all that cdn and even some upload widgets if you like to have and uh, it has got support for the rest api which should be enough for us to get started so what i'm gonna do is first of all log in into here to google and i'm gonna make use of my secondary account and i'm not really sure what this was yep okay so you can see that i already have these two demos ready and uh, i have been using it for a while so i'm just gonna go with the first project and i'm gonna integrate it later on with our api so what i'm gonna do first of all is actually get started with php and for that i'm gonna fire off zamp straight away okay so it's green that means it's running on port 80. now the problem is that we would be running our angular application on localhost port 4200 and the script on just port 80 well that's not really a problem but uh, there would be a cross site request uh cross origin or whatever it, it's something like that so that would create a little bit of a problem for us for posting data from angular app to the back end but we'll just see how we can manage that so now you can see that actually i'm myself in ht docs folder so i do not need to actually go a lot out of my file structure i can just create a script.php right here and we can just say echo hello from angular and not really because this is still php so we can go to our browser and say localhost um, this is angular php script.php right so we get this hello from angular that means our php is running and what I'm going to do is change the data from angular php right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is simply say what well, dump the files which would contain the information about the file which we have sent and we are getting the data back so that should not be a problem. Let's just go back to our application and inside right here let's just send some file we get this access control allow problem which i stated so we can just fix that by adding a header of uh, this but you should probably not add this on your main website or your main service this is just a hack to get around and uh, this is obviously not a good solution for security reasons and now you can upload it you can see that we got response as some big ugly data and you can actually take a look at the response right here as well so we see inside response we get the details about this file and this is the temporary folder in which php always copies the uploaded file okay now what i want to actually do is the uploaded the image which we have uploaded i want to send it to upload care and what this would do is that it would store my images right here securely into their own cdns and actually the cdns would be used to serve the images and upload care would send me back a uuid of that particular image and we can later on retrieve that image with that uuid with all kinds of effects and the cropping and scaling and sizing and all that stuff involved from within our code right so yeah first thing we would need is actually getting our api key 
and uh, once you have this API key it shows me public one is this one and I would probably get rid of that so that you don't actually add up to my storage right so I'm gonna set up my API here and I'm gonna say that this is something like um, public key is this and uh, we do not really need the secret key right now because that is for signed uploads and we're not gonna go a lot into that for now so actually we can just make it a constant why not something like that so and obviously just enclosing that as well okay so now we have the file with us which we are sending with angular and what I'm gonna do is actually go back right here and see in this array of files we have only one file and we will be having only one file because we are sending only one file so what I'm gonna say is uh, temp name temp path actually is files and we have the name as a file in here so this would be file and then temp name and then we have the actual name as files file and then name right which is the actually the name of the file which the user has uploaded now before actually sending this to upload care you might want to just store a temporary copy of it on your server for actually processing or rather seeing that if it act if it is actually a file or not well actually upload care would itself tell you that but you can do that on your own end as well if you like i would just do the same thing so what i'm gonna do is actually move this to another path which i would say that this is just an actual path and uh, let's just say um, first of all we'll just get the directory name of this directory so that we are actually working within the same directory and then we can finally say i move this to temp and uh, then and actually let me just escape these and we're gonna say that this is actual name so it would be something like doing something like c and zamp 7.1 and by the way i'm just seeing that from the top hd docs angular php php right there and i just realized that windows makes use of backslashes so we can change that to backslashes actually but that should not cause any problem with the normal slashes as well so anyways we can now just move the uploaded file from temp path to actual path well actual path and temp path right there okay cool now we need to upload the file which we are getting from the user to upload care and how do we do that well you can take a look in their uh, where is it the api section is it was probably in the api information the docs right there you can go to this api and go ahead in the rest well they do have separate apis for different languages as well right here we can just go with php but it might be just an overkill for an application as simple as this one to actually make use of the full php api so we can just go with the rest api which is pretty much extremely easy to use right here if we take a look inside their upload rest api right here you would see that this is basically the syntax or rather the request syntax for uploading an image to their servers so we can pretty much implement this easily inside php as well so let's just do that real quick i'm gonna open a call request not close baby call in it and i'm gonna say something like call set option and then ch and we are gonna go with this option call option well this would be a url 
and then finally what what's up with my tab key this would be the URL where we will be posting our requests and right here you see that the uploading API route is this one and we want to post it to the base which is the upload file uploading API okay so now I want this to be call option post and this would be true or one whatever you like call set option and then this would be and actually it's curl or c url anyhow it's fine so we're gonna set option to return transfer and what this actually is is that it will just return it would kind of return the boolean value about your request whether it was successful or not and then finally what i'm going to do is set option ch option would be call option post field which is exactly we would need to send to this guy right there and we're going to create an array and what this would be is an associated one and uh, right here if we take a look at the rest api it says us upload care public key store and uh, file as well so we can actually go ahead and use well okay but we do not want to copy so we're gonna write anyway upload here and what this is public key and right there this would be actually our own key so i'm gonna say that this is public key right there and the next thing we have is the upload here store and this would be let's just say one and what the store actually means is that they would store your files right here inside your upload here um, interface so that you can actually see that if you set this to zero it would not store your files for more than 24 hours so if you want to actually store the file you can actually even ask this from the users they want to store the file or if they just want to upload it get some effects on the image and just delete that later on so that it's not expensive on your storage and then finally what we need is we need to send the file and to send the file it's stating us at the rate and image path but with curl request or curl request or whatever the heck you want to call it you do curl file create and this would create a file out of it and you supply actually the path right here which is the actual path where this image would be because we moved it right and one last thing actually we would need to do is actually create this temp folder so that php just finds that so i'm just going to create this temp all right looks good looks good we just need to get the response so i'm going to get response as call execute and the ch and then finally we are just gonna war dump the response to see what the heck we are actually getting so yep and uh, if we take a look now if we upload an image something like this and inside script you see that we get a pretty decent response of uh, the file with its UUID and if we take a look in the documentation that's exactly what it says now we can actually access this image right here what we have which we have got and to do that what we need to do is go to upload here cdn that was pretty much what it was i remember now you can just preview it something like that yeah so you can see that we get our image right here and you can just use the HTTPS version as well if you want if your site is secure that's fine with them and uh, yeah so that is how pretty much you would upload a very basic image I would rather say on upload here with the rest API and this is the PHP code so in the next tutorial what we're gonna do is take a look at how we can actually give some awesome effects to the files in here and show it back to the user as well using angular 4 and we'll bring back angular 4 
work in the next tutorial so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one